All right, so here. See, see, see that now we can we can kind of see extrapolate where the joint is not we need to because the the photo is kind of black and white etc and, and small and dark and the shadow but we kind of know that more or less see this bump in here that bump in there is um, the tensor fascia lata and the joint is just behind that this is the tensor fascia lata here and the joint is just behind there that's the trochanter so the joint is under there. So now this, let's say, we can compare now. We can compare, uh, say, the rib cage to the length of the thigh, right? Um, and then we see that from the top of the rib, uh, the, 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 the leg would be starting from here, right? From here, uh, it's the leg plus a quarter, right? Of the rib cage, so here, rib cage plus a quarter case plus okay that's good i'll leave it like that all right makes sense so um actually later i'm gonna use the 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 divider so you can see the whole thing now i have this leg i know this leg is proportionally related in correct way to the rib cage that's good so now i can see use this leg in here and see how long is the other leg right and let's say starting from uh, the iliac spine which i know what it is it goes above the knee okay cool so take this measurement here, right? And then bring it here. That's above the knee. So the knee is down here and the leg stop below the knee. Okay, got that, right? Now we're gonna see if I have, I can see if I have, let's say the same angle here, right? But I like to use these angles, right, later on to, to see if I have, I don't wanna use this angle to find out where the leg is. I wanna use it later on, I trust this proportional relationship as, as measurement, more than uh, the Barg method where you have all those angles and start drawing with the angles and you guess the angles. Those angles are not connected with the structure, with the anatomical structure. That's why I don't like them. But um, but doesn't mean that you cannot use them. So once I block it in, if I draw this and I find an angle here, I draw this and find an angle here and say, all right, more or less, right? Not exactly, but more or less. Uh, it, it kind of makes me feel better, right? So now here, um, we could uh, check out how long is the lower leg uh, from iliac spine. Again, the leg does not start from the iliac spine, but it's a point that I see, so I use it, right? So certain point, you don't have to, and then just say to the top of the knee, and uh, it's at the ankle. All right, so what if I go to the bottom of the knee, right? Okay, it's at the at the finger. All right, so I have a measurement, right? So let's say if I start from here to here, I have the ankle. And I start from here to the end of the knee, I have the bottom of the foot. Okay. Now, clearly this, you would do it with the pencil, like this as you draw. You don't use this, right? Uh, because you want to, I mean, this is, again, to learn how to identify this thing. So we want to be very precise. But when you draw, you eventually move to a more pragmatic, intuitive approach where you use the pencil uh, and you do this, you bring it down and mark it and, and go on, right? Um, one way, so now you see how this uh, is a change of angle here, see that? So this, this, this. And this moves out like that, right? And that's the foot, that's the ankle. And then I have the wedge, right? Sorry, the, the sphere and the wedge. So um, this also I could block in the um, I could block in the box of the knee here as an extra thing, right? So box of the knee would be this. Um, we could draw the leg like this. We could draw the leg as a, a volume for the thigh, right? and a volume for the lower leg. The knee is here, 
and we measure these and we know how they relate to each other. But eh, you see how this is really angled like that? It's because that's the box of the knee. So if I have, let's say, um, block in the thigh, block in the lower leg, right? But a quarter of a head above the, the joint is the kneecap and a quarter head below is the tuberosity of the tibia. What's happening here is this, that um, this angle, right? Uh, sorry, sorry, the, the, the axis, let's say the axis of the thigh is going to be angle like that. Not to be confused with the angle of the femur, right? The angle of the volume of the thigh. The, now, when we get to the level of the top of the knee, the, the side, the lateral the margin of the, the leg is straight, but the inside is at an angle like that. That's the box of the knee. From here now, we block in here, the lower leg, and then we can draw in this slightly, slightly at an angle like that. So we have one, two, three. These are the carrying angles of the leg that are very important when uh, we cr we work with the figure in movement, but also standing, right? Also standing. Um, and they help you to create that sense of connection, the typical connection between the parts of the legs uh, that make the leg look articulated, joint, movable, flexible, right? So that, right? So here, uh, I see that, so I can block this, see that? I can add the box of the knee here, here, and the knee is gonna be on the side because the leg is slightly rotating in, in, internally. This is now the, the lower leg, and I see how the lower leg is a little bit higher actually than I have it because uh, I look at the negative space and I'm looking at the knee, and this is slightly above the knee, so it's here, right? And that's the negative space, now looks good. So that's the lower leg. And this is gonna be the joint, right? And um, the foot sticks out from the back of the leg here, like that. So, uh, now, so far so good. Coming together, right? And the thing is this, is that when we draw this, right? Uh, it's always a uh, kind of lot of scratching heads when you do this because we're drawing something that we don't see. What we are visualizing is our conceptualization of forms. So we don't see this. We, we, we visualize our measurement, our way that we, uh, how we reduce this to basic volumes. And it's not not so easy to do because we're used to copy exactly the line that you see but that this is a much lead to a much more active way of drawing than uh, than um, uh, than copying what you see right so anyway um, Uh, 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 this one here. Well, but see, you see, I blocked in like this. Right? Basically, um, I, what I did, I drew, I drew uh, that that complex form that I told you be about before, like this, right? Um, but because uh, so it's seen from the front, it's more even like that. But as it seems from the three quarters, what happened is the muscle in the back of the lower leg are bigger because the muscle in the front lift the foot. And that's it, the, uh, and move the toes. The muscle in the back permits you to, to walk. So they sustain the weight of the body. This is not so much. So what happens is the main volume develops posteriorly. So this is that being, that in the front, it looks, it looks even similar. As I draw it three quarters, then I create a bigger volume in the back and a smaller volume in the front. I, I could have done that too, but uh, you know, um, is that, 